YouTube beauty world, it's Jody here with another haul. I know, I know another haul already, but, but, uh, I seriously did a lot of shopping over the last month, because quite frankly, all I owned was some mascara that had gone dry. Sad, sad, I know. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. My other two hauls were very much like hauls and mini reviews. I'm not gonna do that for you today. Um, uh, uh check out my eyes. So, I did my running around this morning. I did my running around this morning, which included uh, going to the dentist. Again, they wanted to check up on that wisdom tooth, which feels much better, and I should be talking normally. Yay! Um, so, I stopped at the store, and I I uh, bought this, which is what I'm wearing on my lips uh, today. Uh, it's L'Oreal. It's part of their infallible line, uh, and it's... Doesn't have a name of what it is. L'Oreal Infinite 105, and it's in lilac. So this thing's kind of neat. It's got a on this side that comes out almost like a feels like a gloss going on, but at the end of the day, it's like a lip stain. This has been on my lips for a uh, few hours now, and then the other side has this. I don't want to twist it up because once you twist it up, it like locks. I made that boo-boo and had to like wrench on it to get it back down. So don't, don't twist it higher than you need. Uh, that goes on top. Couple things. Uh, the color on it is really nice. This has been on my lips, like I said, for a while now. And the color, it's still there. It looks just like when I put it on. So, uh, I'm gonna keep going on this. Hopefully it lasts all day. We'll see what happens. Um, there's a couple things. This side, the white side, don't go too super liberal on it, because if you do, it actually starts to like almost like ball up, like it, it's like it's yeah, it balls up funny. But I got home and I went, oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna get into the purple, so I flipped open my um, uh, Kat Von D Interstellar palette and started playing with the purples. Pretty soon it became a smoke, and then I just decided let's let's go with it. And this is what happened on my eyelids today. It's pretty. It's pretty going to the disco for hanging out at home for the afternoon, but I'm not going anywhere, so, you know, I might give the the delivery man, if he shows up later on today, a bit of a surprise. Um, I'm going to try and do this and sort of, seeing how we're talking about lips, I'm going to do lip products first. Um, one thing I did get was this NYC uh, Apple Lip Balm. I got it in the color of Chocolate Apple. It tastes tastes pretty good on your lips, smells pretty good. I like the color. I do. I like the color. Um, I can't find these in stores. I actually got this at the dollar store, and um, I wish they still had them, because I would buy more. The other thing I did is I decided that I wanted to try some dark colors, so I went and got some NYC lipsticks just when I was at Walmart. Got them in two different shades. Same lipstick here. And I got in number 304, Mocha, and 320, Mahogany. Mocha goes on like a dream. I really like, I really, really like it. It's a nice color. It doesn't last all day, but I don't mind reapplying. That's fine. This goes on patchy and gross, and I am not a fan. I like the color for about 30 seconds, and then it starts to wear off. Another couple things I got. I got one of these uh, L'Oreal Paris Rich Color Le Gloss, um, and this one is in the color Spiked Coffee, so 146. Oh, I like this. This is one of this. I'm. You guys know I know about my lip glosses from when I was a kid, but anyways, this stuff. You gotta rub it in a little bit. It goes on. Um, sorry, the lighting's kind of shoddy today. Oh look, it looks like I combed my hand hairs. Um, yeah, it goes on. It's a really nice brown. It's got just enough gloss on it that it doesn't look like you're overdoing it. It doesn't look like 90s Jennifer Lopez. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, lip, lip, lip stuff. Um, another one that I got is I actually got, um, this is Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Matte 660 Touch of Spice. So this is their matte lipstick. It's raining outside, and it's just the. I'm trying to get the lighting right, but so this goes on very matte. It comes out very uh, brownish, but with a really strong hint of sort of a berry. I really like it. 
touch of spice sounds about right. It does. It reminds me of a color you would see at a spice market. Uh, to go along with that, I did get a pencil, um, and I got it a Maybelline, uh, just a lip lining pencil. I can't find the name of it on here. It's in number 05 Rose in it. It works pretty well. Uh, I might have gotten a different, maybe redder tone. This one looked quite red. And they did have one I could swatch in the store. So there's that. Uh, and the last thing I got, and I am in love with this. I love this thing. <sighs> Sorry, my bra, just, I have bra issues like all the time. That's what happens when you're chesty. It just like, they pull and they shift and <sighs> Anyways, um, so it's the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And I got it in the color 205 Elusive. Um, I wanted to get some pink in my life. And it's like a big crayon and it spins up like whoop, 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 and goes down. Now this, this is a pretty color and it's a pink that I can pull off because oh, although it is kind of a bright pink, it comes off, it kind of plays off a little bit on the rosier side of things. So it seems to work for me. I like it. And I also like that this has like mint in it and like, if you smell it, it smells like mint. Oh, it's yummy! And my, my lips kind of tingle and they actually sort of... Get, they poof up a little bit because the tingly, you put mint on my lips at all. And I don't know if everybody's like this, but I'm like this. You put put mint on there and I'm um, mama's gonna swell. <laughs> I poof up a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's lip stuff. Oh, the other big thing I was gonna warn you guys, if you use this, this, uh, this is the first stuff I showed you, the L'Oreal. Don't lick your lips. It tastes awful. So if you're a lip licker, you dirty lip licker. <laughs> oh my god, that's my next insult. If anybody ever cuts me off in the car or something, I'm going to yell at them that they're a lip licker. That's just, is, <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, so I have eyeshadows now. I have sad stories. Um, when I was shopping this morning and I got that lip stuff, I also picked up um, another thing. And I picked up two of them, and I got two of these little, little wet and wild, like, mini palettes. And I got California Roll. I haven't even opened these yet, or swatched them. They had none I could swatch, but they looked really cute, and I figured, I, 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 wet and wild, I don't know, I read a lot of stuff, it was cheap enough. Uh, I'm in Canada, uh, these I found at, uh, Superstore, actually, uh, at Superstore, and they were $4.99 each, so I got this one, um, California Roll, I figure if I got like a outdoor concert or festival or something to go to this summer, that might be fun. God knows. I mean, look at my eyes. I'm at home today by myself and I look like I'm going to, to the clubs. Uh, and this one is, I was setting up for this video. I dropped it, it. So it broke, but I lucked out and only one broke and I'm lucky. <laughs> The one that broke was my least favorite color of all, so please ignore the extra dusting of stuff. Butterfingers. Uh, and this one's called Thrift Thrift Store Chic. So I actually bought it for these kind of pink, uh, purple, of course, no. But I got it for more of these sort of pink colors. I've got some hot pink Milani stuff and that I just don't have anything that seems to really work with it. So I was hoping maybe some of these slightly toned down. Matt, do the trick. Um, what else did I get? I have the NYX Nude Matte Shouter. I had a couple of these. Ooh, geez, that comes off as really white. Um, in reality, it is a very, very, very pale petal pink. It's called Birthday Suit. Um, I am not a fan of NYX eyeshadows. I bought about six of them. Um, all these individual. I got some of the matte. I got some of their really super sparkly. I got some in between sheeny kind of ones. I gave all of them away except for this one. I found that they had major, major fallout all, all over. Um, yeah, and it wasn't good. What I do love though, <gasps> this says it's for eyes, face, and body, and it is the NYX Roll On Shimmer, and I got, this one is in Walnut, I think? Yeah, Walnut. Oh, baby. This is... What the heck? I don't, I don't know. I have weird things. Um, this... You just barely roll it on, and it comes out with a brownie, rosy, gold sparkle. 
to no end. Um, I have been playing with how to use it. I can do it and do a full glitter across. It's got enough moisture. This thing has like very minimal fallout. I am going to show you here. You can totally, it is totally 100% blendable. Oh gosh, I'm really bad at this. Um, really super, super blendable, so you can play with it with a brush with no problem. Um, I took Fix Plus on a brush and then rolled the roller on to pack it just a, sort of on the inside corner, and that seemed to work really well, so it's a lot of fun. Um, I bought this. Of course I bought this! No, it magically showed up on my door. The little elves dropped it off in the middle of the night. They're like shoemakers. Um, I got this. And this was actually, I bought this before a while, while, while back. And it's from Revlon. It's one of their independent, just little guys. And it is a sparkly back, and it's Onyx Pearl. Um, I, I like it. It's sparkly. It works pretty good. It's like, if you wanted to do it, it's like sort of an eyeliner. Um, that's kind of what I bought it for, because it's sparkly. And it was for a steampunk costume, to be totally honest with you. Um... Yeah, I bought it. I bought some uh, copper. Everything was done in copper and gold, and my entire outfit was in black and white with copper bronze highlights. It was really cool, but uh, I haven't used it since. I'm such a bad spy. I'm looking out my window going, who's there? What's going on? It's actually just my neighbors. Um, <laughs> I need to leave my poor neighbors alone. Uh, so I got some of these L'Oreal colors, these infallible colors. Um, this one here is in 021 Sahara Treasure, and this one here is in, I have to, I have to rotate it so I can read it, uh, 892 Amber Rush. These suckers are just, oh, oh, so pretty, super pretty, I love them. I mean, just look at, like, they're in there, they're pressed, but look at the top of this, and look at the shine. This is just... A pure gold. This amber rush. I don't really see anything too amber in it. It is... Oh, I'm sorry. This is an amber rush. I'm getting mixed up on my color names. Uh, this one's Sahara Treasure. And it is... It is just... It's just gold and it's shiny and it goes on like a dream. And quite frankly, I've played around with these quite a bit. It did, A little goes a long way. I've used these a lot. It doesn't even look like I've touched them. Uh, a little goes a very long way with these, but they are beautiful. You can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong with these. Uh, a little bit of fallout will happen if you try to pack it on too tight, but if you're just putting a light, like sort of just giving it a highlight, and like I've said before, if I can do it and I'm new, anyone can. Mm, that's too bad. I wish the lid to this one was black too. It would show it better. This is shimmery. Look how shaky my hands are today. That's probably why I drop stuff. And then, uh, we'll put it up here. Jeez, I wish... I gotta get me some lights or something because the way my house sits, the best place for me to videotape you guys to get any light is actually in my living room. Um, the problem with that is because of where my house sits and fits in relation to the sun, unless I want to start filming at 5 o'clock in the morning, the lighting in here can get really, really weird. So, anyways, uh, more eye stuff. I got this today. I haven't touched it. I took it out of the package. This is the Wet n Wild Megaline Liquid Eyeliner in Turquoise. I just thought, hell, turquoise? Yeah, this could go with my whole under-the-sea McDonald's roof stuff. Yes. I wasn't thinking that at the time. I just thought, turquoise? Ooh, pretty. All right, couple other things I got. I got this Marcel BB Cream Matte, and I got it in light to medium. Okay, I'm going to try and readjust a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. I need to shadow it just a smidgen. Uh, BB Matte Cream. This stuff is really cool. I have no idea if they sell this in the States. They sell this in Canada. Um, they do have it at London Drugs, which is where I bought it. First place I ever saw it. Uh, since then, now, if you've got a uh, Shoppers Drug Mart that has uh, one of the beauty boutique like extended areas, um, they carry it. This stuff is really cool. This is the only 
BB cream on the market in Canada that has actually been approved by um, the Dermatological Society to actually having benefits for your skin. Um, the coverage on it is very, very light. Um, a lot of shine if you're... <laughs> Thank God it wasn't an eyeshadow. <laughs> I would have busted it up again. <laughs> Butter fingers. Uh, yeah, so uh, dermatologists have said that this actually has skin benefit stuff. It'll let you know uh, if you're greasy. Like I said, you can get a little of the shine going on. Um, however, every time if I'm having a lot of skin issues, like I get really bumpy. Um, I get, like I said before, those big red spots and stuff. This stuff, when I take it off at the end of the day, it looks like it has gone to the spa. Uh, another thing I picked up real quick is I got, um, Scandalous, Rimmel Scandalous, uh, eye pencil in, in nude. And I got this specifically because I have small eyes for my under eyes to try and make them look bigger. I did try it before filming today. Let me, let me know if my eyes look bigger to you or not. Um, oh, I missed two eyeshadows, probably because I don't like them. Uh, is that bad? So that's a bad thing to say, I guess. I, I, I can't, let's word this another way. I can't make them work with my inexperience. Therefore, for someone in my range of makeup knowledge, they are not good. And they are these, they are the Alme eyeshadows. They're kind of creamy. This one is in Petal, and this one is in Moss. Yeah, this one's got a little sheen, that one's got a little pink. I have a feeling that when Target was closing in town, and I went and most of the makeup had been picked through, they had a lot of these left, and these were the two colors I picked. I'm thinking there was a reason they were what was left. Um, okay, uh, mascara. Great last Lash Clear. Um, this I love if I'm doing nothing at all, uh, and just, yeah. <laughs> That's the sound effects I make when I do my mascara. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Uh, it's clear. Um, I have really, really hooded eyes. Uh, my roller lash is one of the few mascaras I found that doesn't leave dots up there. Um, the only thing is, is it doesn't seem to matter what I use, it leaves dots down there. I am wearing my roller lash today um, without curling my lashes and they're kind of curled using their method. I'm still going to keep trying because people keep saying that works. I like this. This is what I used for years and years and years and years and years. I have very, very dark hair, so blackening them up is not a thing. So if I'm okay with them being short and stubby and just want to have them kind of separated looking, I use my good old Maybelline Clear Lash. That stuff has been around since the dawn of time, and I don't think it's going anywhere any soon. Um, so I did get brushes. Uh, I'm going to be very, very quick with these. I bought this little guy. I absolutely love it. It's a Diviner Shadow Brush from... Q... 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 Co? I don't know. Q-U-O. Uh, this is a brand that in Canada... I don't know if they sell it in the States, but it's a brand in Canada that they do spell specifically sell... They don't spell it there. They sell it there. They sell specifically at Shoppers Drug Mart. This thing is really, really soft. I thought it was a little overpriced because it was a brand I hadn't heard of or whatever. I was like, yeah, well, it... Yeah, I had a coupon. I bought it. So glad I did. Wish I would have got more. I think I'm going to buy a couple more and see how they go. Another thing I got was this... Oh, there's the other one. Um, Jeez, I'm dropping things. Was this real neck... Techniques set. I wish I could remember what the set is called. I think it's called the basics. Uh, there's a couple brushes I use the most. I use this little guy a lot. Uh, and it's the contour brush. But I actually find I like this. I know it's contour brush. I never use it for that. It feels really narrow for my giant face. <laughs> and I'm not that confident to have a really sharp line yet. Maybe one day. But at this point, I really, really like it for setting my under eye powder. Uh, it tapers enough at the top. It gets in there really, 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 really nice. And these are all super soft. I would buy Real Technique stuff all the time. Uh, this is a little detailer brush. This is their face set. I guess it's for concealer. Mm, conceal stuff. 
Uh, I've tried it a couple times. I haven't had much success. Uh, this is the painted foundation brush. Now this is really narrow, and I don't think it would work for foundation. However, I do like it for applying highlight. Yeah, I have my hourglass highlight on today, and I use this to put it on very, very, very lightly because the way the bristles are so tight and stuff together, it doesn't pick up a ton of powder. It doesn't pick up a ton of product. So for somebody new, I mean, it's not fluffy enough to do cheeks or anything. It's just to follow that narrow little line of highlighter because I do have quite high cheekbones, so there's not a lot of space between my eye and my cheekbone. And the last one is I love this. This is the buffing brush. Um, if you've watched Wayne Goss's buffing video tutorial, I did not buff today because I kind of wanted, I'm trying a new foundation. I wanted to see how it lasted through the day without buffing and powdering. I just kind of wanted to see it on its own. So if I'm a little shiny or funny looking, yeah, I don't know. I really, really like it. Uh, the first one I ever bought, which was like three days before I bought the set, uh, is this. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. This thing is soft. It picks up an awesome amount of product. It is really good. I can pick up very little product with it without too much trouble. I can also pick up a schwack of product if I want to. It's all based on your force. Love it. A uh, couple concealers. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer. Uh, oh. Would you like to read the English side? Erasing dark circles. That's what I have on today. I'm still on the fence because I still look black under there. I don't know. I got some schluff and chapany. Uh, the other one that I did go out and get um, is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty. This stuff is seriously heavy duty. Um, I got it in light. They had nothing where I could swatch it or see. A uh, light is too light for me. It's also not something I can use for my under eyes. Being in my 30s, I'm starting to get those little fine lines and little wrinkles and the skin under here isn't quite as firm and lush and beautiful as it was before. On acne, because I do get acne, on any kind of acne spots and things, it works awesome. I did not conceal this sucker today, so don't, don't judge. <laughs> uh, a couple other things I got is I got the oh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Concealer. I love the consistency of this. I love how it goes on. I love the the dewiness or natural look of my skin with it. The problem is, is that they do not have my shade. I picked up 115. It is way too light. Um, I picked up, well, 110 is like, I'm a ghost on me. It just makes me look washed out. Uh, one, 115 is what I have. Um, 115 is what I wore in my last video and the video before that. My last two videos. Um, yeah, I tried 120 in the store. The lady was nice enough at London Drugs to try actually putting some on me because I had a foundation. And it was way too orange. So, I love it so. I love it so, but they just don't have a shade that works for me. Like, we played around with a whole bunch of numbers. The closest is 115. And as you saw in my last two videos, I still looked very washed out. Uh, this is what I'm wearing today. I picked this up. Uh, uh, and I can't remember. It's somebody's YouTube channel. It might be Young, Wild, and Polished. I could be wrong, but anyway, she swears by this. There's someone out there that swears by this and says this is the bomb and this is the best ever. So I went... I'm going to pick some up. Um, I spent forever trying them out in the store and I ended up, well, you know, cheating. Not supposed to open them. A few seals broken. However, I did buy the one of the seal that I broke because the only person who dipped into it was me and I figured I don't need the seal on it walking at home. Uh, and I got it in 102 shell beige. Uh, that is what I have on my face right now. Um, this color, this shade seems to work okay. It actually looks better. It looks it looks a bit more accurate on camera, actually, than it does in real life. It's still a little bit off. I am a very funny shaded person. I don't know. Uh, the next thing that I got was this NYX Light Medium Blotting Powder. When I first used it, I was like, oh my god, I have so much powder on my face. Just give it two seconds. It melts away, and it looks awesome. And I got Light Medium in this. It is in my to-go bag at all times. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, because it really does just blot the hell out of the grease. And the last thing I got, and this is the most amazing stuff ever, is Baby Skin Pore Eraser. Um, 
I have not really tried the professionals. I mean, I've, I've tested to be it a little bit in the store, but I don't own one. So I haven't used it day in and day out. So I can't say whether or not it is the holy grail or this is better. I don't know. All I can tell you is the cheapo and me, I picked this up and I am in love with it. I push it into the pores. I have hawking huge pores right on this top stretch of nose. I put this on, you can't see them. The other thing that I have is I have these funny... Oh, I didn't do it on this one. I didn't get this side, but I got this side. I have two, well, I got another one matching on the other side that's just like this. This wrinkle that goes down that's sort of random place. I popped it into that wrinkle on this side and you can't see it at all. The other thing is, is I have a funny wrinkle line that comes like this on both eyes. Comes straight down. I pat it into there, buff it off. This stuff works. It even feels wrinkles. Like it's supposed to be for pores, but it feels wrinkles. I should have lied and said that I did this as a demo. As a side, I didn't do it. At the side, I did. That is not the case. I forgot. I'm an idiot. Anyways, that's it. That's it. We are done. We are done. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Uh, once again, oh, 26 minutes. I'm trying to make these short, but it's just never going to happen with the amount of haul stuff that I have. Um, the next two videos coming up will probably be my elf haul and my Milani haul. Both of those should be a heck of a lot shorter than these ones were way way shorter because there's less stuff. The elf one, there's lots of stuff, but most of it's brushes and things. So it's, it's quick quick to go through. Um, once again, guys, I would love it if you guys would subscribe. I'm going to be keeping around because I enjoy myself. I find this fun. Um, so I'm not going anywhere. Comment down below. Let me know if you like what I have going on here, what I did with my eyes and my lips, uh, any kind of recommendations as towards the videos or stuff I've done to my face would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, not only am I new to makeup, I am totally new to YouTube. So some constructive criticism, seriously, would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so far, all I've been getting is very nice comments, which is great. I appreciate it. It's so nice to know that people are enjoying this. So once again, subscribe, like, give me a comment, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.